All right, guys, so we hope you're having a good day today. We hope that you made the ice cream in a bag and that it tasted good. Harper's got a few things to show you what we got going on here. Yesterday, we went and picked up some, what did we get? Um, eggs, but she, all she gave us was duck eggs and one, um, All right, so we got one chicken egg and the rest are duck eggs. I've never hatched duck eggs before, um, but that's all that she had so that we have those there. So chicken eggs take about 21 days to hatch. So today is day one and I have this life cycle in a box. So Harper's gonna open up day one for us and show us what the inside of the egg looks like. And we'll open up one every day. So right now it just looks like a scrambled egg that you eat. And each day something different will happen. So leave and it then, open. And then after that day, after... And then when it goes, numbers. Yeah, we'll show them two tomorrow, okay? All right, so open that one back up and stick it back in there so we can leave it open. So here's our caterpillars for today. They're getting a lot larger. Remember, these things eat all day long. They do not sleep until it's time to make their chrysalis. Okay. The boiled egg, it's been in our vinegar for a week. We finally took it out. It just feels like a hard boiled egg. I thought that it was going to kind of be invisible, but it's not. And again, we're wearing our green. And instead of reading you a book today, we're gonna do another experiment. Okay, we'll give you updates on these. Now remember, the inside, you can't see the inside of the actual eggs. Come on, go in here in the kitchen. Well, you can't see the inside of the actual eggs, okay? You can't see the inside of the eggs until they start to hatch. Also, something I learned about duck eggs is that, um, Duck eggs take between 25 and 28 days to hatch, and the duck eggs are actually on day four today. So they're um, working um, together, and I'll keep you updated on those. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make Play-Doh. Our first one we tried today was with Jell-O, and how'd it turn out? Uh, not very really good. It was supposed to turn out like really soft and like Play-Doh, but it just turned out like really gooey. Yeah, it didn't work, so we're gonna try it again. All right, so what we put in each of the four bowls is a half a tablespoon of vegetable oil. All right, and then Harper is gonna add water to each bowl. You add a fourth a cup of water to each bowl. Okay. You put a fourth a cup in each one. And then we're gonna add food coloring, just a few dots of food coloring to them. And then I've already mixed together the dry ingredients. So add a little food color. I've mixed together the dry ingredients. And inside here is four cups of all-purpose flour and a cup and a half of salt. Okay, good. Should I do blue? Red. Good. And green. And then you could leave, oh, we'll leave that one. Maybe it'll be light blue. Have two blue. And then you, you add one cup of this um, flour mixture to that, them. That. And Harper, if you want to get out a fork, I'll help you. Okay. Right. Hopefully this one will turn out. We don't know. We hadn't tried this one yet. So we're hoping it'll work. I've never really been good at making homemade Play-Doh, but I thought it'd be something cool to try. Yeah, because we don't have enough flour to try it and mess it up. Try your hands. You can use your hands. I think this might work because it's okay. Kind of so this one's a little different. Hard. And I have the video too that we followed to try. So, say, so, have fun trying to make Play Doh. Have fun trying to make Play Doh. I hope it works. Have a rainy, happy day. Let me know if you need any help.